Step one, I know you guys have some Git changes here. So step one, go ahead and open up your project file by just left clicking on the project name. You're gonna go to the very top property group and you're gonna add these three lines if they're not already there. If they are already there, you're gonna increment the version number. In my case, it went from 1.1 to, or from 1.0 to 1.1. Um, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to properties on your solution and you're gonna scroll down to package and make sure that this is checked. Produce a package file during build operations. I know this video is about updating a NuGet package, but if you already have one and you created it using the old school way, using NuGet.exe directly in the command line and saying NuGet pack, then you might not have this checked. So go ahead and check that. You'll notice that your package version says 1.1.0 here. That's because you updated it in your project file. We're doing great. Step two, we're gonna commit the changes that include your assembly version change here. So save everything. Control Shift S, save all files, go to Git Changes, and make a note about your commit. In my case, I'm just going to say something silly like updated uh, assembly version number, and I'll try to spell it correctly. Commit all and push it. Great job. All right, guys, step three. We've got to go ahead and push the package from the command line. So right click on your project file and go to Open Containing Folder. You're going to go up one level to where your solution file is, and hopefully you already have your NuGet.exe here. If you don't, check out my video from April of 2022 on Azure and NuGet and all that, and you'll see how to download that, get it, in your, get it installed, and either put it in your system path or put it right here. Excellent. All right. Now right-click on this folder, and you're going to do Open Terminal. If you have another type of terminal, that's fine, bash, whatever. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to paste in what I just prepared for you guys. So now we're going to do dot slash if you're in PowerShell, which means current directory, nuget.exe if that's where it's stored. If it's in your system path, just put nuget.exe space push space dash source space quotes and enter the name of your project and then dash API key. And then here's a string that according to the Microsoft documentation, you can use whatever you want. They're suggesting you use AZ in the example, but and then finally enter your package pack file when you built your solution because of that checkbox that you had here when you built your solution that file should have showed up all right press enter if you can't find the file like me it's because it's in the project folder here in the bin debug there's my package and i want to copy it to where i'm telling it in the command line to look for it which is in my solution folder which is here so you could paste it here. Oops, paste it here. And go back to your command line. Press return. Now you might get a pop up here asking you to authenticate with DevOps. I didn't because I've recently pushed a package and my computer has memorized it. As you can see, it says your package has pushed. Hold up, we're not done. The next step, we got to go into Azure and promote the package in order for Visual Studio to see it when you go to include that package in your project. Let's go to DevOps. Once you're logged into DevOps, go down to Artifacts on the left-hand side. You'll see a drop down at the top. Pick your feed. If you don't have a feed, maybe it's because you haven't created one yet, which means you don't have your initial package yet. If that's the case, go watch my video from April 2022. All right, I'm going to click on Siegel Lib because that's the feed where my project is, as you can see, it says version 1.1.0, which is one we just published. Click the three dots in the far right, and you're gonna to go to promote. At this point, you can either pick pre-release or release. I'm gonna pick pre-release and hit promote. Because I picked pre-release, I have to check the view pre-release checkbox when I'm viewing the package. All right, we're done with the initial steps. So as you, actually, as you can see, it says pre-release here. We're done with the initial steps. If you wanna now include this in Visual Studio, Keep watching, I'll show you that right now. The tools, NuGet Package Manager, Package Manager Settings. Once you're in your settings, make sure you've got that Package Manager listed. Now, I do like I keep referencing that video in April, you can go check that out, but I'll, I'll show you that one here real quick. Back in DevOps, if you click on Artifacts as you get to the screen, click on Connect to Feed, Click Nougat. 
and then just take the URL portion of the project setup here, just the URL, and that's what you're going to use. right here. So go ahead and set that up, make sure it's checked and everything. Hit OK. And then you're going to go to your solution and manage NuGet packages. Up here in the top right, make sure you've selected the package that you want. And it might take a minute. I'm going to search for Siegel. Also, make sure you've got the include pre-release checked if you did a pre-release package. As you can see, since this video is about updating the package, my previous version was 1, and I'm ready to update to 1.1.0. If you included the license in your project, it should show down here. Go ahead and update. 